We're going to talk about living the in Christ life. How do you live out of this identity uh, and this inheritance that you and I have in Jesus Christ? So now the question is, how do we live out of this new life that we have in Christ? I think to put it very simply, this new life in Christ begins by us being born from above. So Jesus said this in John chapter 3 verse 1 to 13. He taught about being born again. Unless a man is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And that word, that phrase born again simply means to be born from above, to receive life from above. So here's what I want to put forward to us. Because we are born from above, we have to live from above. When you think of yourself, don't just think of yourself as who you are in the natural. Now, you've, you, each one of us has a natural identity. We were born in a certain family. We carry a certain family name. Uh, we may have certain traits, traits about us, about our personality. We have certain inclinations, passions, uh, things that we are good at, our expertise, our accomplishments. All of that is your natural identity. But while that has its place, you and I must learn to live out of our spiritual identity and live out of what God has made available to you in the spirit. That's your spiritual inheritance. Live out of that. You have been born from above, so you have to live from above. So you are righteous. You are sanctified. You are uh, complete. It's already done. It's a finished work. But the interesting thing is this. God completes that work in the spirit. That means in Christ. He completes it. But in the natural, he tells you and me to live out of that completed work. So in the natural, we are a work in progress. The point is this. Why is this so beautiful? Because the work is completed. And if the work is completed, you don't have to strive for it. You acknowledge it is completed. You act like it's completed. You live out of a completed work. Today, we want to, I want to present two important things the Bible teaches us in order to live from above. Two important things. Number one, we need to renew our minds. Renew our minds. And second, we must walk in the Spirit. So let's talk about renewing the mind. So as believers, that's the first thing we must do. Change your thinking. Stop thinking like the old. Stop thinking contrary to the Word of God and align your thinking to what the Bible says. So your immediate thing, instead of thinking, instead of thinking this is the end of my life, this is announcing my defeat, this is the end of everything, you think, no. I see myself coming out triumphant because God always causes me to triumph in Christ. You say, well, that sounds delusional. No, that's called believing the word of God. You cannot be more right than believing God and his word. But it requires a renewing of our thinking. It requires us letting go of our ways and our thoughts and embracing the ways and thoughts of God. So that in that situation, instead of you seeing yourself as a victim, instead of you seeing yourself as a person who's defeated, you say, God is bringing me out triumphant. My God causes me to triumph in Christ. Walk in the Spirit. To walk means everything you say and do, your, what you do comes up from the Holy Spirit. Walk is how you conduct your life, how you live your life. So you walk in the Spirit. Everything is, con comes from the Holy Spirit. And in order to do that, you and I have to be led by the Holy Spirit. That means He leads us. He prompts us. He guides us. And if we live by the Spirit, if you walk in the Spirit, that's when the fruit of the Spirit is manifested. The virtues of Christ. Christ is seen in our lives. And that's how, as believers, we live from above, not from beneath.